so I talked a little bit about how we want to possibly remove walls in the uh, dining kind of living room area. Um, you can see that in the tour video of the home. So we are going to investigate what is load bearing and um, basically how the house is structured to and that hopefully will give us an, an idea of what we would need to do to remove walls if we could even do it um, without we may need to consult with someone who knows more um, but for now we want to see what we're dealing with to see if we can determine anything from it um, so we're going to be going up into the attic um, and we'll show you guys what we see up there all right here we go so the kitchens over or the walls are over there ah, so we're gonna have to crawl from there to over there hopefully it's not too So if we look at the ceiling joist, yes. it's not a continuous board all the way across. It cuts, uh, or it's two pieces. They're just, so that's already an indicator that this right here has got support or needs a certain support. And then if we look underneath here. Yeah, this is that center wall. And it does look like it's what they call two top plates. Uh, but this is, this is really main, the main indicator right here. That this one here is a, is, is a little, little bearing wall. So this would be that wall that wall that separates the dining right. from <clears throat> the living room. Right. This also is a load bearing wall. Gosh dang it, really? Yeah. These ceiling joists uh, that are running this way pretty much end here. And then there is some running across this way, meaning that this underneath the wall here is a load bearing. In other words, they're all load bearing. Everything is load bearing that is down there that we wanted to remove. So basically, we would probably have to put a, a big beam underneath this one, and then uh, to get rid of this one, <clears throat> yeah, we'll have to find someone that would do that for us. But it okay, now I gotta trek my way back, so I'm probably gonna turn the camera off because otherwise I'm gonna fall through the freaking ceiling. Uh, here we're back in the house again. So again, pretty much everything that we wanted to take down is load bearing as as we showed you in the attic. That was pretty much the worst news that we wanted to find out. Um, we're gonna maybe call on a, a contractor or someone someone else that can maybe do the work for us, but we're gonna have to think about, we're gonna have to rethink now what we want to do, do we want to remove everything? Do we want to remove just one wall? You know, how are we going to want to do the kitchen? So, um, but at least now we know what we're dealing with, so. He's contemplating. Mm -hmm. This is his contemplating phase. So the last video, uh, I believe we mentioned that all these walls were load bearing that we wanted to possibly remove um, so we have come to the decision that we are going to remove this wall only we did get a quote already to have someone come and install the beam in the attic but we are tasked with doing basically all the demo work um, so that he can just come in put the beam in and you know be done um, so we've got uh, some work to do there but to tackle first we want to we need to get rid of the ductwork. Well, it turns out that ductwork is asbestos or has asbestos uh, wrapped around it. So, um, not only do we want to remove it, we probably want to relocate it. So, let's take a look up in the attic and see what we're dealing with.
This is all the newer part right there, that wider piece. Yeah. And you can even tell like that right there is as best this. So we did end up hiring an abatement company to come and remove all of the asbestos containing ducking. We didn't really want to get involved in removing it and exposing ourselves and we didn't know if we had the right tools. So we did pay someone to do that and it was really nice to just not have to worry about it. Today we are starting um, the preparation for the removal of the load bearing wall. Um, we're going to be removing all this carpet around here starting to remove the drywall and moving the electrical out of the way and that is our goal this is the tool mainly used for our carpet removal uh, this is what <clears throat> from over here that's simple make sure you got a nice sharp knife and like butter. Now we cut up in sections made making it easier to roll up and dispose. Um, the smaller we try to make small sections where we can uh, roll it up and fit it in the back of my truck and make it easier for disposal. The hardest part is actually the the foam underneath that's they glued it on so that's actually harder to remove than the actual carpet all right <laughs> Quick update, so we had the contractor in the house today removing the wall, so right in between where you see that in the ground, that that's where the wall was. He removed it and he um, put the beam up top so you can see he cut the ceiling joist um, in order to fit that uh, beam across. Um, and it looks like he is probably gonna come back tomorrow and finish it all up. And then these are what would be considered temporary walls that they put up while they're, you know, cutting the joists and putting the beam. They have to support the ceiling. So they put these temporary walls and then when they're done with the beam, they'll remove them. And then we are gonna come back and patch everything up and there's gonna be no wall here. So this is the progress update and I'm getting very excited for this. Okay, so the beam placement has been completed. As you can see, they finished putting all the brackets on the joists to the beam and the wall is gone and we are just about done with this part of um, this milestone of the home remodel of removing that wall. Today we are going to be patching up this. Obviously we're not leaving it like that. And we want to cover it up now rather than later just because we don't really want to be exposed to 
fiberglass from the insulation and there's some ducting that has asbestos in the attic so we just want to seal this up so that we can you know be done with that part of it and move on to the next thing so that's what we're working on today So we finished patching up the ceiling and that little corner with just or with drywall. Um, and I lost sound on the video here, but just wanted to point out that this concludes this video of removing this load bearing wall and we'll continue to show the progress of the remodel in some other videos coming up. What I was saying here was that this wall looks a little strange that we left up, but we do have plans uh, for this wall and the other kitchen walls as well as the kitchen itself. So stay tuned if you want to see what we do and definitely subscribe to our channel if you want to keep up to date on our home remodel.